When the Bow Breaks stars Morris Chestnut and Regina Hall as a couple who are trying to conceive a baby but are unable to because of medical reasons. So they look for a surrogate mother. Enter Anna Walsh, a very nice, sweet young girl who says all the things this couple wants to hear and they agree to conceive a child with this woman as their surrogate. And of course, as you might expect, if you've ever seen any film like this, she becomes a psychopath and now we have a romantic thriller. When it comes to movies like this, I like to look at the facts. I tend to be a very naive person when it comes to film filmmakers and writers and actors and actresses because I have such a deep love for film that I tend to just think everyone is the same. Like everyone who makes movies just loves the art of filmmaking. Everyone who takes a role just loves the art of acting. Everyone who writes a screenplay just they, they have such a passion for writing and that's why these movies are made for us. That's not always true. Some movies really are just made for the sole purpose of making money. I call those movies conveyor belt movies. They might as well have been assembled by a machine and they're currently being processed out of the conveyor belt for the audiences to eat up and for the studio to make some money back. And When the Bow Breaks is absolutely one of those movies. This movie is designed to make money and that's it. It has attractive lead actors, a PG-13 rating, a plot that has been recycled ever since Fatal Attraction and done 10,000 other different ways. And it can be made for an extremely low budget that they can probably make back in its opening weekend alone. I like Morris Chestnut. I had the privilege of meeting the gentleman a few years ago. I got to interview him for his show Legends on TNT. He was charming, he was funny, he was likable, he was a nice guy. He's capable of much better roles than this, and I really would like to see him in a better film. Here's some more facts for you. Screen Gems is the company that's making this film. They also made the movie Obsessed with Beyonce and Idris Elba, another romantic theme thriller about some form of obsession that eventually ends in some form of violence. They also made No Good Deed with Idris Elba again, another stalker thriller with a slight romantic edge. They also made The Perfect Guy. That one also had Morris Chestnut, and it was another stalker obsession-themed romantic thriller. And this year, Screen Gems has given us When the Bow Breaks with Morris Chestnut, another romantic-themed stalker obsession-type thriller. Every single one of those movies I just told you about is PG-13. They all have interchangeable cast members that have gone into each one of them, and every single one of them, except for Obsessed, came out in September. Screen Gems knows what they're doing. When the Bow Breaks is a conveyor belt movie churned out by a studio that may as well be a machine assembling all of the products in the perfect place to hopefully make a box office return and that's it. Morris Chestnut and Regina Hall are both actors far more talented than this material, and I would love to see them take roles better than this. It's so blatant in its ripoff of Fatal Attraction that the actress who eventually goes crazy, her way of going crazy is changing her hairstyle. That's her big character arc. I mean, that's what happens in these crazy movies. Someone looks all nice and wonderful and great and you love them, and then all of a sudden they just get really big, poofy, curly hair, and I guess they're nuts now. My God. I'm gonna give When the Bow Breaks an F. I would love to not give it an F simply because of the fact that these actors are talented, but this entire film just reeks of a bunch of people who are making money, and I really can't forgive that. You guys are the best. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Look forward to this Sunday, because I'm gonna be posting my review of Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban. Thanks once again, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>